This time we're doing it in basic solution. So once again, we have plentiful amounts of OH minuses and plentiful amounts of water. So uh, first thing here, I see SNO2 minus 2 going to SNO3 minus 2. SNs are, are fine. Uh, we have three oxygens. I'm going to balance that oxygen with a water here. So one oxygen plus two oxygens is three oxygens. I'm going to balance the hydrogens with 2H+. Realizing we're in base, I'm going to neutralize that with an equivalent amount of OH-. And now it's just a matter of balancing the, uh, the electrons in terms of the charge. So minus 2, minus 2 is minus 4. Okay, these guys cancel each other out. So we have a minus 4 here and a minus 2 here. So to balance the charge in terms of electrons, I'm going to put two, is it two electrons? Yes, I'm going to put two electrons here. This is a oxidation half reaction. We lose two electrons. Also want to tell you guys that 2H plus plus 2OH minus is 2H2O. One of those H2Os will cancel with one of these two H2Os, leaving me with an individual H2O. And let's go ahead and write this out. We have, all right, now we have, uh, I guess this is bismuth, bismuth hydroxide going to just plain old bismuth. Let's go ahead and balance this half reaction. I'm going to do this right here. Bismuth hydroxide going to Bi. You see here I'm splitting this fundamental equation up into the oxidation form and then the reduction form, realizing that joining the oxidation reduction half reactions, the redox, the redox reaction, will give me the full reaction. All right, so I have three, hydro three oxygens, three hydrogens. So how will I balance this? I'm going to balance the oxygens first with some water. And now I have six hydrogens here. My oxygens are balanced. So I'm going to put a 3H plus here. So three hydrogens plus three hydrogens is six, six hydrogens. I'm going to neutralize that with an equivalent amount of OH minus. Um, what I add three hydroxide here, so I got to add three hydroxide there, right? Whatever hydroxides I add, I got to add the equivalent amount to the other side. Okay, that's just how you do it when you balance redox reactions in base to sort of get rid of the, hydrox uh, the hydrogen ion. Now I'll balance the charge, and balancing the charge is easy here because it's a 3E e minus, minus 3, minus 3. By the way, 3OH minus plus 3H plus gives us 3H2O. This 3H2O cancels out with this 3H2O on this side of the ledger. And let's go ahead and write this half reaction. It's, I'm going to write it above here. By the way, this is a reduction half reaction. We gained three electrons. Now what's next is we have to cancel out the electrons. So on this side, the top side, we're going to multiply by three. Okay, we're getting rid of the free electrons. On the bottom side, the reduction half reaction, we're going to multiply it by two. So um, let's quickly rewrite this out and add them together. And that should give us the final answer here. Not only do my six electrons, E free electrons cancel, uh, but my six hydroxide ions cancel. And this should give me my final answer. And my final answer should be 3SNO2 minus 2 plus 2BiOH3. And that's going to go to 2Bi plus, uh, let's see, my waters, I think my water stills are there, plus three waters, plus two, um, plus three SNO3 minus two. Okay, very tricky keeping track of everything here, to be honest with you. Okay. All right, let's do our final checking here. So we have three SN, three SN, that's good. 2Bi, 2Bi, good. The hydrogens and oxygens worry me a little bit. <laughs> so uh, 2 times um, 3, so that's 6 oxygens, plus another 6 oxygens gives me 12 oxygens, right? 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 2 is 6, so 6 plus 6 is 12. Here we have 3 oxygens plus 9 oxygens is 12. And let's do the hydrogens. 
Um, two times three is six hydrogens. Yes, yeah, six hydrogens. So the hydrogens and oxygens kind of worry me. And the next thing that worries me is the charge. So three times minus two is minus six. Three times minus two is minus six. Yeah, we are balanced.